Haley out here from the American Digital Network studio with a preview of this Saturday's college football action. The final push for spots in the American Championship game begins this weekend as Navy and Temple fight to hold off their challengers in the divisional races. We'll start in the West Division where Navy needs only one win in its last two games to punch its ticket to the championship. But the midshipmen who have won 15 straight at home will go to one of the traditionally toughest places to play in the American when they face East Carolina at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium. Navy is riding high after a thrilling win against Tulsa last weekend to put the mids in the driver's seat in the West, but expect East Carolina to be inspired by a senior day crowd and the pursuit by Zay Jones of the NCAA's all-time receptions record. Jones enters Saturday's game only seven catches shy of the career record held by former teammate Justin Hardy, who will happen to be on hand in Greenville for what could be a historic afternoon. In the East, Temple and USF enter Week 12 tied atop the standings, but the Owls hold the tiebreaker advantage and would advance to the championship by winning out. The next step for Temple is Saturday's matchup against Tulane in New Orleans as the Owls look for their third straight series win against the Green Wave. Temple's backfield tandem of Raquel Armstead and Jihad Thomas has combined for 20 rushing touchdowns, but will go against a stingy Tulane defense, which leads the American in takeaways. USF will try to stay in the East Division race as the Bulls face SMU in Dallas Saturday night. USF has won five of its last six and has scored at least 30 points in 14 straight games, thanks in large part to the play of quarterback Quinton Flowers, who has 32 total touchdowns this season and is a semifinalist for the Walter Camp Award as the nation's top player. The resurgent Mustangs also have plenty on the line, as SMU needs one win in its last two games to become bowl eligible. SMU has won three of its last four behind a defense that has 17 interceptions in 2016, good for second nationally. UCF and Tulsa are both bowl eligible and both mathematically alive in their respective divisional races entering Saturday, but both need a win to retain their championship hopes. Tulsa looks to bounce back from a heartbreaking loss at Navy last week as the Golden Hurricanes fast-paced offense led by 1,000-yard rushers D'Angelo Brewer and James Flanders meets a night defense that has been among the best in the nation in recent weeks. UCF has not allowed a touchdown in its last seven quarters, but will be tested by a Tulsa offense that has averaged 42 points per game. There is one non-conference game on Saturday's docket as UConn makes a short road trip to Massachusetts to face Boston College. The Huskies are looking for their first win against their New England neighbor as freshman Donovan Williams is expected to make his second career start against a BC squad that needs to win out to gain bowl eligibility. And of course, we'll have coverage for you all day right here on the American Digital Network. Have a great weekend, everybody.